Hey guys, it's Bailey here from Maverick Campus. Here we are with another tips and tricks and tutorial video explaining the Maverick electrical system. So located on the passenger side near the kitchen, you'll have a Clipsal 15 amp inlet lead. Now, most typical households do not have these. They have a 10 amp plug. Now you can pick these up from Bunnings for about under a hundred bucks. They go from a 10 amp lead to a 15 amp that will plug directly into your camper trailer. Now, when you're at a caravan park, the post there will already have a 15 amp lead. So this is a good way to keep it all tipped up and full for when you're storing it at home. And when it comes to maintaining everything else. Now, this here is your main isolator. Now, this is in the control panel. Now, you've got a switch here for all your lights and another switch for your water pump. Now, we've got all the lights on in the camper at the moment. So we're drawing four amps as well as pushing in power. Now we've got our two water gauges up here at the top, telling you how much water in the tanks. Now we'll pop on inside and show you exactly where you will locate your charger as it's located under the main cushion at the back. You lift up your lid where you'll locate your batteries and your charger is located in here. Don't mind the lighting, but it will have a red light on it and you wanna make sure it is plugged in to the white double pole point, power point and in the on position. Now, if that light isn't on, the first thing you wanna check is that you are plugged in. And then the second thing you wanna check is located in the wheel arch and that is your circuit breaker. Always make sure your inverter is switched off if you're not using it. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment below or send us a message. Thanks, guys.